Some of you that have watched my website, onsecondthought.tv, in 05, 06, I had video and I was saying, Sheriff Mike Corona has got some culpability in the murder of Andrea Nelson, who's also from Orange County. Her only daughter, her only child, Andrea Nelson, her mother, Linda Cater, and I had many conversations. And she told me how about Tony Rakaka said two guys came over to her, did an audio tape, and kept trying to tell her, well, it's your own fault, it's, you know, it's your fault, your daughter's dead, and this and that, and they didn't really want to hear what she said. They wanted to beat her down. I got that on audio tape. Many interviews, and we've gone back to the house where her daughter allegedly was murdered by a guy I believe to be one of two or possibly three men involved and they're all Iranian, or of Iranian extraction. One, Bakhtar was convicted of having three bottles of tate rape drug. Three bottles. Remember the Max Factor heir who used just a little tate rape drug and raped a gal? She didn't die. He got life imprisonment. And yet here's Bakhtar, who seems to have a pony with the FBI, so you can't arrest him, even though he's got four or five or six all, all convictions already that Pastor Wiley Drake and I went and looked up. And he gets immediate probation. Thank you, Tony Rakakis. I'll bet you Bakhtar sent Tony Rakakis a big birthday present and a big Christmas present that year in, or the next Christmas in 2003 or four, Because he didn't do one day in jail. And he carried the dead body in. And the people in the hospital told me that body was dead at least an hour. It only took 10 minutes to go from where the house is on Morningstar to Hogg Hospital in Orange County in Huntington Beach. 10 minutes. 15 minutes if you have terrible traffic. But it wasn't. It was like midnight. No traffic. January. Tony Rakakis. In my opinion, in my first amendment opinion, after investigating the murder of Linda Cater's only child, Andrea Nelson, Tony should be in prison for covering up the murder. And Harry Bunnell, I got him on video, just go pull up Andrea Nelson, Harry Bunnell, forensic pathologist, and you will see, he said this was a murder. Mike Corona, who you saw on True TV, you know, the ooh, ooh, spinning lights, and ooh, the good guys, and the cops, and we're getting, that was Mike Corona. He's in federal prison, or at least he should be. They say, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's in federal prison, or at least he should be. They say he's in federal prison. He was convicted and sentenced. First time it was appealed and overturned. They came after and filed another one of the, I think it was 99 or 100 charges, but they only prosecuted him on one more. And this time he went to jail, allegedly. I haven't seen him in federal prison, so I don't know that ex-sheriff Mike Corona is actually doing the time. But what if they went after him for the other 98 or 99 charges? And why hasn't Tony gone after him? You need to remove Tony McCoxon. This is what I'm coming to. You got Andrea Nelson's case. You got Julie Witherspoon's case. You got this Kelly Thomas beat to death. And these cops are on paid vacation. Hello? They're on what they call paid administrative leave. Hello? They beat a man to death. And even the cops that didn't participate in the kicking and the beating, they covered up for him. 
they had a duty to immediately arrest Sincer or Nelly or who, whichever cop it was that was beating this 120 pound, 37 year old Kelly Thomas to death. They had a duty, just like the cops up on Oakland on that BART station had a duty to arrest that two year veteran, non American born cop who shot Oscar in the back while he was being handcuffed. They shot him in the back when he was obeying orders. He got two years. Big whoop de doo. He actually fled the jurisdiction, ran to Reno when they caught him, brought that cop back, and he's going to be out. Probably he's out already because he got two years with good behavior. He's probably already out on parole. Father, the